Scientists began to talk about such an unusual human condition as sleep paralysis relatively recently. Before that, this phenomenon was most often considered to be just part of a nightmare. Imagine suddenly waking up in the middle of the night, opening your eyes and seeing a dark human figure sitting on your chest. Some claim that this manifests itself in people hearing someone else walking nearby and seeing it all quite clearly. And none of this is a dream, it's completely real and it's happening in your room. You are very scared, because the black figure may lean over you and start pressing on your chest, or even reach for your neck. But you can't move, and with your finger you are completely helpless. A resident of Mexico named Jimena has suffered from sleep paralysis since childhood. Almost every month she wakes up in a similar condition and all the time she sees a man with a hat standing in the doorway. And Jimena, for some reason, thinks it's her dead grandfather coming to her. I would wake up and see my room as if in reality. I understood everything, I didn't realize it, but then there was a wild buzzing in my ears, like bees buzzing. My body began to vibrate and I couldn't move. I felt terribly afraid. And then this skinny black man with very long arms and legs would come. He would climb on my bed and groove, but like a cat walking on the blanket. Then he would sit on top of me, clasp my hands above my head and put pressure on my jaw, trying to open my mouth. It was like he was sucking the life force out of me through my mouth. It's hard to explain, but it felt like he was taking it away. I tried to ask him, what do you want? But he wouldn't answer. Then he would leave and there would be severe weakness and incredible fatigue. I couldn't move, I really wanted to sleep, but it was very scary to fall asleep. Sometimes the scenario of this phenomenon changed, but always remained a panic fear. And if sleep paralysis occurred when Jimena was lying on her side instead of on her back, she felt someone pulling her hair from behind or by the shoulder and trying to roll her over onto her back. Or bumping into a bed and being dragged somewhere. Jimena knows what sleep paralysis is scientifically, but she believes it is actually a mystical phenomenon. In her opinion, during sleep paralysis, people are visited by beings that feed on their energy, and this happens when people are emotionally weakened. However, even if one tries to avoid stress and trouble and live a healthy lifestyle, sleep paralysis can still keep coming. And another Mexican woman named Astrid also regularly wakes up in a state of sleep paralysis. However, she believes that this phenomenon is still related to stress, and the higher the stress, the more likely she is to wake up and see this nightmare for real. Astrid first experienced sleep paralysis 10 years ago, and over the next five years it happened repeatedly. According to her, these years were nerve-wracking for her. One day, she dreamt she saw the face of the devil himself. It appeared out of the darkness and she woke up feeling someone holding her. Astrid tried to move and break free, but she couldn't. It was a very eerie sensation. She considered herself an atheist, but she was so scared that she put an icon under her pillow and slept with it during her subsequent sleep paralysis. Astrid clearly saw some sort of creature, 
but tried to explain it away with logic and mysticism. She thought it came from overwork and fatigue. At least that's what she wanted to believe. And the next story happened to a guy named Adrian. He started waking up in a state of sleep paralysis shortly after one disturbing dream. He was in college at the time and dozed off during the day. He had a strange dream in which he was in an apartment, but there was solid blackness outside the windows, and the front door didn't open or there was a wall. The interior had changed a bit too. It was very disturbing, but it was still his apartment in this dream. He walked back and forth through the rooms, and then he woke up and lay with his eyes open facing the wall. Suddenly he felt someone's presence, and at the same time there was a tingling sensation, as if blood were rushing to his stiff arms. He could not move, he felt incomprehension and fear. It lasted only a few seconds, and then abruptly ended. In his second sleep paralysis, Adrian saw a shadow of some sort separate from his nightstand and hover right above his face. Further, this shadow took the shape of some ugly little gnome. Adrian experienced a state of absolute helplessness, and in this state he could not think critically, taking everything as reality. The worst part was the helplessness, trying to move but unable to move. He ended his story by wishing everyone a good night and hoping that none of them would ever experience the feeling of someone sitting next to them in a dream. <laughs>